Hi folks, I've just taken a long slide down a rabbit hole and I am going to ask everybody for their help because my brain has turned to a marshmallow. Um, I was looking at this new executive order taking stewardship of the oceans and Great Lakes and what have you. And that led me to, hold on, let me look at the document because I can't remember all this stuff. I've been in and out of so many sites. The Law of the Sea document, which took me to um, International Seabed Authority, which took me to Tongan Offshore Mining Limited. As usual, all the documents will be linked. Um, the last one that I mentioned, the Tonga Offshore Drilling, is the one that really made me go, holy cow. <sighs> it's confusing, and I can't explain it all, but this particular company is owned by Americans, but it's under the Tonga Kingdom of Tongan or something like that. I'm sure there's all kinds of legal reasons for that. And it talks about the offshore drilling. And the thing that caught my eye and made me go, oh, what am I looking at here? Is that all of the locations that this company is drilling are locations that are having heavy earthquake activity right now. Now I know from the bit of reading that I did, and I tried to put some other links that, you know, talk about this type of drilling and everything, but almost every piece of documentation I came up across was something you had to purchase. So I guess this stuff is secretive, either because they don't want us to know it, or they want to sell it because it makes them money, or I don't know what. Um, but this is where all the earthquake activity is. So have they done something, kind of like a BP thing, where they've extracted things from the earth and not put them back properly and have caused more activity? I don't know. Or maybe it's just underground volcanoes that make these types of poly whatever it is that they're looking for. I have it in the links again. I, this is all... It, this is all completely new stuff to me. But this one document, the Tongan one, um, it's, the two paragraphs that caught my attention the most were the paragraph 15, which gives the locations that they're doing this mining, and 25, which talked about international shipping lanes. So I don't know if this treaty had something to do with them wanting to clear these fishing lanes, or these shipping lanes, rather, for further expl exploration. Um, I don't know if I have anything here. This might be a great big nothing, or it might be a great big holy crap. And I guess what I'm asking is for help. For you guys to look at some of these documents, to dig into it, see what you can find, um, give me your opinion, Scott, you know, what's your opinion on this mining stuff? Could they have disrupted things beyond repair? I mean, they talk a lot about environmental stewardship and what have you, but I don't buy it for a second. It's all about the money and the bottom line. <coughs> I mean, this company has links to um, the Bank of England, I think it is, and um, Win Dixie, and I don't know. It, it, it's all just so convoluted as usual. And mind you, that's just one of the companies I looked at. There's others, but I just absolutely can't bear to do it right now. I just, my brain is fried, and as I said, I'm a little freaked out. So, if anybody wants to do a little digging, Paul the Surf Junkie, you'll get it back. Maybe you could do a little digging. Anyway. As always, take good care, folks, and um, maybe we'll figure something out.